There are no slides. Hopefully you all enjoy the fact that there are no slides. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Uh, I'm going to talk about, yeah, I'm blue. I'm going to talk about what I learned from every other authentication system. Uh, I'm going to sum it up. I think Rails engines are terrible for authentication systems. Uh, I'm starting off with such a bold statement because I'm partially inspired by Linus Torvalds. He was talking about why he's super blunt. And he said that when he's blunt, people don't misinterpret him. And I don't want to be misinterpreted here, so I'm just going to be blunt. I think Rails engines are terrible for <laughs> authentication systems. Other things, they're fine. But let's go into reasons why. And I'm going to do a brief history of my interpretation of Rails authentication systems from my personal experiences. So RESTful authentication came out back when I was starting Rails. There weren't really any other solutions. I thought it was really great. It did what I needed it to do. Uh, if you haven't used RESTful authentication, basically you ran a generator and it dumped a bunch of code into your app, and it worked. Then clearance came out. Uh, about that time, Rails Engine had come to. I found clearance and said, hey, that's great. It's pulling all the authentication crap that I don't care about out of my Rails app and making it so that I don't have to worry about it. And I thought that was great. And I rolled with that for a while, and then Warden came out, and people were all raving about Warden and what it was. I said, oh, great, I'll try out Warden. I had no idea how to use Warden. It made no sense whatsoever. But Devise came out, and I said, oh, that's cool. I'll switch on to Devise instead of Clarence. And I didn't really know why. I guess it was just the new shiny toy aspect of it that drove me to want to use it. And so one of the things that kept me using it was this idea that it was modular. I'd be able to use all these plugins. And that was great. Uh, but it was really crap. And I'll go into the reasons why. Uh, the reasons why I felt that, that experience was crappy is because even with the plugin systems, the fact that it was built on top of a Rails engine forced me down certain paths. Uh, those paths were the choices that either Devise itself had made, or Clearance had made, or even the plugins. And every time I wanted to extend upon those ideas, it was a pain point. Uh, it's a pain point because Rails engines for authentication are rather brittle. When you want to make changes, you often have to duplicate what already exists in the engine and then override it. If it's deeply ingrained, as I found a lot of systems are, you end up duck punching the crap out of your application in order to make these fixes. And often that makes it impossible to be able to upgrade cleanly. So a lot of these pain points made me think about what we were doing in the authentication world and how we could kind of progress further with it. And over the past years, we've become more ingrained with design patterns that we're using. We've become smarter as programmers and what tools are in our toolbox. And so I thought it would be great if we started bringing some of those into an authentication system. And so some of the ideas that I would like to see in, in the perfect authentication system were service objects that represented all the different types of interactions that we wanted to have, and then just build those up. Uh, composition over inheritance, those types of things that we could use, decorator pattern. And what I came up with was this idea of bringing back that initial Rails generator approach that RESTful authentication had and giving you back control over your code, giving you back the ability to, you own the controllers, you own the routes, you own the views, you're no longer overriding, you're no longer duck punching your application. You can just use what you want when you want. And I think. There are many people in this room who probably agree with that experience that when you have control over your code, it makes it easy and fun to work with again. Now, that's not to say there aren't downsides to that, right? As I mentioned, when I first went to clearance, the upside was that I removed the authentication system from my application and didn't have to worry about it. So the question comes down, and is the compromise worth it? And I feel like it has been, but I would like to engage in more open discussion about this. So if other people would be interested in talking to me about it or just what I've distilled into the gem that I've called Monbon, I'd be interested in hearing what other people have to say and their experiences with authentication systems. Most of mine ended up being when I was using authentication systems, like, oh man, I really wish I could do this. Oh man, I really wish I could do this. And then I built Monbon, and then it was always like, man, I wish I was using Monbon right now because I wouldn't have this problem. Um, so. That's kind of my take on authentication systems. I wanted to keep this talk nice and short. Let me know if you want to chat about it.